Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to build a decision tree for the given data set using greedy approach. In this case, we have been given a data set with the three attributes X, Y and Z. C1 is the first class and C2 is the second class here. Given this particular data set, we need to build the decision tree using greedy approach. Also, we need to use a classification error rate as the criteria for identifying the splitting attribute. Once you build the decision tree, we need to find the overall error rate of that particular tree and then we need to consider x as the root node and then we need to build the tree over here once you build the tree again we need to find the overall error rate of that particular tree here now to build the decision tree as said earlier uh, out of these particular three attributes we need to select one attribute as the root node in this particular problem definition they said that we need to use the classification error rate as the criteria for identifying the root node so first we will calculate the error rate of x, y and z. Once you calculate the error rate, the one which is having the minimum error rate that will be considered as the root node here. Now the question comes in front of us, how to calculate the error rate? To calculate the error rate, we use this particular equation. Classification error of teeth attribute is always equal to 1 minus maximum of probability of i given t for all classes. That is i is nothing but all possible classes here. Now we need to calculate the probability of class C1 given this particular attribute T, probability of class C2 given this particular attribute T. Once you find that particular probabilities, we need to consider the maximum and then we need to use this particular equation that is 1 minus maximum, you will get the classification error of this particular teeth attribute. The same equation can be written something like this one. 1 minus max can be written like minimum here, that is nothing but minimum of probability of I given T where i is the number of classes in this case. So either we can use this equation or we can use this equation. In this particular numerical, I am going to use this particular equation here. Now, the next question comes in front of us is how to calculate the classification error rate of this particular individual attributes here, that is x, y and z. To calculate the error rate of this particular attribute x, we need to first write the contingency table or the counts for that particular table. That is nothing but we have two possible values for this particular x you can notice here one possible value is 0 another possible value is equal to 1 and there are two possible classes are there that is c1 and c2 here now when x is equal to 0 we need to count how many number of c1 class examples are there if you look at here from here to here we have 0 x is equal to 0 and c1 examples are 5 plus 0 plus 5, 10 plus uh, 45 here if I add all these things we will get 60 that is what I have written here now when x is equal to 0 how many c2 examples are there we need to add all this particular thing that is nothing but 40 plus 15 plus 5 plus 0 that is again equal to 60 here when x is equal to 1 we need to start from here and then we need to go up to here we need to count c1 examples and c2 examples here if I count them we will get 40 for c1 40 for c2 here so this is what the contingency table we need to draw here. So once you draw this particular table, next we can easily calculate the error rate for this particular x using this particular equation. Now I have modified that particular equation here because in the previous case, the t was having only one possibility. But in this case, x is having two possibilities. The first possibility is x is equal to 0. And the second possibility is x is equal to 1 here. So that's the reason I have taken the addition of both the possibilities in this case. Now how to calculate this particular first term? This can be calculated something like this. First we will calculate the probability for all possible classes. So first class is C1, second class is equal to C2 here. Probability of C1 given x is equal to 0. Probability of C1 given x is equal to 0 that is 60. 60 divided by total number of examples. That is nothing but 60 divided by you can say 200 over here. Now similarly for C2, probability of C2 given x is equal to 0 that is again 60 here divided by total number of examples that is again we can say that 60 by 200 here between these two minimum is which one both of them are same here so minimum is 60 by 200 in this case so that is the first term similarly we will calculate the second term probability of c1 given x is equal to 1 that is 40 divided by 200 probability of c2 given x is equal to 1 that is again 40 divided by 200 between these two minimum is 40 divided by 200. So that is what I have written here. 60 divided by 200 is this term and 40 divided by 200 is this term. 
Now, once you add these two things, you will get 60 plus 40 divided by 200. And once you solve it, you will get 0.5 as the classification error for X in this case. So we were able to calculate the classification error for X. The value of classification error is 0.5 in this case. Similarly, we will try to calculate the classification error for Y here. Now, what we need to do is uh, we need to write the contingency table for Y. That is Y is equal to 0, Y is equal to 1. How many number of C1 examples are there? And how many number of C2 examples are there? I will show you one example here. When y is equal to 0, uh, you can see here y is equal to 0 means this is the first case, second case, third case and fourth case. How many number of C1 examples are there? 5 plus 0 plus 10 plus 25. That is nothing but uh, 40 here. That is what I have written. Similarly, we need to count all other possibilities and then we need to write it here. So once you write this particular contingency table, the classification error of y is equal to Again, we will calculate the error term when y is equal to 0, error term when y is equal to 1. The error term is nothing but what? Minimum probability between these two and minimum probability between these two. So, minimum probability is 40 divided by total number of examples, 60 divided by total number of examples. Between these two, 40 divided by total number of examples is the minimum. So, that is what I have written here. Similarly, when you go with respect to y is equal to 1, 60 divided by 200 and 40 divided by 200, this will be minimum. That is what I have written here. And when you take the addition of these two things, you will get the total uh, error is equal to 0.4 here. Similarly, we will do it for the third attribute that is uh, Z. Again, Z is equal to 0, 1. And there are two possible classes are there. That is nothing but C1 and C2. Again, we need to calculate the error with respect to Z is equal to 1 and Z is equal to 0 here. The minimum error between these two is uh, 30 divided by 200 and between these two 30 is the minimum again 30 divided by 200 here so 30 plus 30 divided by 200 which is equal to 0.3 in this case we have calculated the classification error for x y and z x is equal to 0.5 we have already calculated y is equal to 0.4 and z is equal to 0.3 between these three the classification error for attribute z is minimum so we will consider z as the root attribute and then we will start building the tree here so we will consider Z as the root node and there are two branches are there Z is equal to 1 and Z is equal to uh, 0 over here. So once you draw this particular Z is equal to 0 and Z is equal to 1, this side either we need to select X or Y and this side we need to select either X or Y here. Now there is a question should I select X here or Y here or should I select X or Y at this particular point. Now again we will try to calculate the uh, classification error of X and Y, the one which is having minimum that will be considered here. So what we do here is when Z is equal to 0, what is the count table or the contingency table for X and Y we will calculate. Similarly, when Z is equal to 1, we will calculate the contingency table for X and Y and then we will calculate the classification error here. Now when Z is equal to 0, the value of X you can see here, only these examples we need to consider because the Z is equal to 0 here. So when you consider Z is equal to 0, X is equal to 0, the number of uh, examples with respect to class 1 examples, you can see here, when X is equal to 0, this is what I am talking and this is the one more. And if I add these two things, that is 5 and 10, we will get 15 here. Similarly, we need to count all these particular possibilities and then we need to write it here. The same thing we need to do it for Y also. And then once you do this particular thing, we need to calculate the classification error here. So the classification error for X is Again, the classification error with respect to x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 1. Minimum between these two is 15 divided by total number of examples. Totally, how many number of examples are there? 15 plus 45 plus 15 plus 25, that is equal to 100. So, 15 divided by 100. And for x is equal to 1, again, between these two, minimum is 15 here. So, 15 divided by 100 here. And when you go with respect to y, y is equal to 1, y is equal to 0 here. So 15 divided by 100, 15 divided by 100. So we will get the same error for X and Y. If it may be X or Y, we are getting 15 divided by 100 plus 15 divided by 100, which is equal to 0.3 here. So when Z is equal to 0, either you can consider X as the node or you can consider Y as the node here. So that is what we can do at this particular left side. Now, if you consider X as the node, uh, how many possibilities are there for X? x is equal to 0, x is equal to 1, there are two branches are there again here. 
Now, what should be the label here? Because we have considered Z, we have considered X, we have considered Y here. So we need to write a leaf node or the label here. So when X is equal to 0, this 15 is the error and the maximum value whatever we have that is a correct classification. So correct classification is 45 which is with respect to C2. So that is what I have written here. So when X is equal to 1, again between these two 15 is the error and 25 is the correct classification. What is the label here? C2 in this particular case. Now we will go to this particular right side when Z is equal to 1. So when Z is equal to 1, these are the four examples we need to consider and then we need to calculate or uh, write the counter table for X as well as Y here. Again, we need to calculate the classification error here. Now when X is equal to 0, the classification error is between these two minimum is 15. So 15 divided by total number of examples that is 100 here. X is equal to 1, minimum between these two is 15 here again. So 15 divided by total number of examples again that is 100. So 15 divided by 100 plus 15 divided by 100 here. When you go with respect to y, the minimum between these two is again 15. So 15 divided by 100. Minimum between these two is 15 again here. So 15 divided by 100. The same error rate we will get for x is equal x and y here. That is equal to 15 by 100 plus 15 by 100 which is equal to 0.3 here. Now again, on the right hand side, uh, we can use either x or y. If I use x, what will happen is uh, when x is equal to 0, that is left hand side here, uh, between these two, which is the error? 15 is the error and 25 is the correct, 45 is the correct classification. So 45 is with respect to what? C1 here, so C1 is the label in this case. When you go right side, that is x is equal to 1, between these two, this is the correct classification. So what is this particular classification? That is uh, C1 here, that is what I have written here. So this is the complete tree for this particular given data set. Now coming back to the last part of uh, this particular uh, discussion that is uh, calculating the error rate for this particular uh, decision tree whatever we have built here. Now uh, we need to consider this particular z. Z is uh, with respect to, to 0 and z is with respect to, to 1 here. So when we consider z is equal to 0, this side we have either x or y. So I have considered the x table here. Similarly when you consider z is equal to 1. Either you can consider x or y because I have considered x table here, I have considered the x table for z is equal to 1. So z is equal to 0 here, z is equal to 1. I have considered x table here, I have considered x table. These two tables we have already calculated in the previous slides. Now we will try to calculate the total error. So the total error is if we count the total number of examples first of all, here we have 100, here we have 100. So total number of examples are 200. Now when x is equal to 1, the error is equal to how much? Between these two minimum is 15 here. So 15 divided by 200. When x is equal to 1, what is the error we will get? Again 15 here. So 15 divided by 200. When z is equal to 1 and x is equal to 0, again 15 is the error. And when x is equal to 1, again 15 is the error. So 15 divided by 200 plus 15 divided by 200 plus 15 divided by 200 and 15 divided by 200, which is equal to uh, 60 divided by 200 which is equal to 0.3 in this case. So the total classification error for this particular tree is equal to 0.3 in this case. In this video I have discussed how can we build the decision tree using greedy approach for the given data set and also how to calculate the overall classification error. This is the first part of this particular problem definition. The next part of this problem definition will be solved in the next video. The link for that video is given in the description below. I hope the concept is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.